Do you believe in telepathy, where you can communicate with others mentally by using your thoughts without using words or any physical signals? Interesting, right? There have been several telepathy experiments in the past. However, there is no good evidence that telepathy exists. The topic is generally considered pseudoscience by scientific community. Then we may wonder why we're talking about it now. The reason is Elon Musk, the tech billionaire who owns companies like SpaceX and Tesla. Musk has announced that his company Neuralink has implanted wireless brain chip in a human for the first time. Imagine this, a coin-sized chip implanted in your skull with ultra-thin wires connected to your brain, a direct brain-computer interface. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's real. The idea is the implanted chip will register brain activity and send it over to a device such as a smartphone through Bluetooth connection. The first Neuralink product will be called telepathy. It would allow people to control their phones or computers just by thinking. Elon Musk says it will initially be used by people who have lost the ability to use their limbs, for example, people with paralysis. Taking to X, Musk said the initial results show promising neuron spike detection. However, he did not provide further details. Musk has touted Neuralink as the future of technology and medicine. Before we move ahead, let's understand what exactly is Neuralink. Neuralink is an American neurotechnology company. It was 2016 when Elon Musk, with a team of seven scientists and engineers, founded Neuralink in California. These scientists were experts in different fields, such as neuroscience, biochemistry, and robotics. They started working on developing a device capable of inserting very thin threads into the brain. These threads could then pick up signals from the brain, develop a brain-computer interface. Well, easier said than done. There are approximately 100 billion neurons in a mature human brain. Each neuron can make connections with more than 1,000 other neurons, Every time we want to move, feel, or think, an electrical impulse is generated and sent at a lightning speed from one neuron to another. So the process is incredibly complex. Initially, Neuralink planned human testing in 2020, but this was postponed to 2023. The US Food and Drug Administration had given the company approval for human trials in September 2023. Before the human trials, Neuralink tested its chip on monkeys and pigs. Watch this video. A monkey is playing a video game through its Neuralink implant. However, the company has faced criticism over reports of deaths of monkeys and other animals while testing. Musk has denied this. In a social media post, he said, no monkey has died as a result of a Neuralink implant. He says they chose terminal monkeys, which are already close to death, to minimize risk to healthy monkeys. Now back to brain-computer interface, or BCI. Elon Musk's Neuralink is not alone in the space. Australian neurotech startup Synchron is ramping up production of its flagship brain-computer interface, Synchron Switch. The interesting fact is that the company is funded by Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates and Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. The sharp contrast with Synchron's device is that it does not require a cut in the skull to install its implant. Instead, a stent-like device is inserted through the patient's blood vessels. The device allows people with limited physical mobility to operate technology like smartphone devices and cursors with their mind. Now, here we should talk about Philip O'Keefe from Australia. He suffers from paralysis, cannot move his upper limbs, in December of 2021, Philip created history. He became the first person in the world to tweet a message using his mind through Synchron's brain-computer interface. The tweet was made on the account of Synchron CEO Thomas Oxley. According to reports, there are some 40 brain-computer interface trials underway in the United States. The race for brain-computer interfaces is heating up. China has bold ambitions to develop its own brain-computer products by 2025. After Neuralink's human trial, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology brought a policy document mentioning big plans to push hard on cutting-edge technologies, including brain-computer interfaces. So in the coming years, more experiments are going to come in this space. 
However, experts have raised concerns around the experimentation of Neuralink's brain chip on animals. Experts also flag the potential risks associated with brain surgery, such as brain hemorrhage or seizures. There are no details on the ability of users to control their personal data and neural activity. This raises the concerns that recipients' privacy may be compromised through the brain chip. There is also a possibility that this technology is used for surveillance. See this report. The U.S. Department of Transportation fined Neuralink earlier this year for violating regulations regarding the movement of hazardous materials. The report says the company was found guilty of improper packaging of hazardous waste, including flammable liquid xylene. According to U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, xylene can cause headaches, dizziness, loss of muscle coordination and even death. So concerns loom large over ethical implications of brain-computer interface. But as they say, with great power comes great responsibility. As we venture into the uncharted territories, one thing is for sure. The age of telepathy and brain-computer interface is upon us. The future of communication is closer than we think. Well, that's all in this edition of Connecting the Dots. We'll see you next week with more raging issues that touch our lives and imagination. Goodbye for now from all of us in the Delhi Newsroom. Take care. Namaskar.